Hello, hope everyone's doing well. It's time for the recap of the Azure Lane Tulavru Darkness collab live stream that just happened. Actually, it's still going on, but they're doing the merch stuff so I can talk a little bit. So, we got the characters. Uh, less than I thought. I thought they'd just kind of go ham. We got more of the normal event, but I feel like they might have gone crazy, but not as much as I thought they would. So, let's see. So we got a summary of the event of the uh, collab, what it is. You can pause and put up Google Translate or Google Lens and figure that out. As a key visual for the event. So we got the sisters, Yami, and Belfast. And first up is Lala. She is a heavy cruiser. And I'm thinking, as I thought, the theme of the characters is what their skills were going to be. Is summons. So she has some summons and her sisters have some summons. So she's a heavy cruiser. Next up is Nana. And she summons some penguins that shoot torpedoes. There she is. And next up is Momo. She has some plants that kind of shoot stuff. Looks like plants versus zombies a little bit, if I'm being honest. And then next up, Golden Darkness or Yami. She is a battle. Oh, sorry. Uh, Momo is a light cruiser. Golden Darkness, Yami. She's a battleship. I thought she'd be a destroyer and just kind of like the DGs, but evidently not. But she, uh, she shoots her giant fist. She has the slash from the sword, so that's pretty cool. And next, Harna. She is a battle cruiser. Though she looks like she should be something in the front line. I wonder if it's a translation error or something we just put wrong, but it said Battlecruiser. I checked a couple times, different spots. And she was in the back line shooting stuff. And yeah, she's got a fire extinguisher. It does say you are on it. So, oh, there's more to it. <laughs> when they're showing it off, it said just you are. I was like, wait a minute. And it looks like she's beating people with... Uh, fire extinguisher, which is not a good time for her was getting beat. And the last one is Yui Kotagawa. She is an aircraft carrier, and she is the point accumulation. Momo is the event shop and dropship. There you go. Probably the one I like the most out of this bunch. And there was a shock, disbelief. There's a lot of banter in this stream, but he was. About two minutes of him being in shock that there's no more characters, no more Mekon. Uh, maybe a rerun if the collab does well. So for the skins, Law is getting attacked by one of her inventions, gone awry. A uh, little robot PK, Peek, Peke, whatever his name is. It's uh, rushing to the rescue and we're evidently doing nothing. And then we have Nana. Playing cards with, I assume it's Lala. Don't know. More of a casual skin. A lot of exposure there. Then a very suggestive Momo on the bed. Uh, there is there is the funny crying emote. A lot of that going on when this one showed up. That's Yami's skin. Harana's skin. Very nice. Very wholesome. Nothing suggestive here. Just, well, I mean, there's some leg going on, but that's about it. Nothing too crazy there. Then Yui's skin. Like, oh, you know, that's pretty pleasant. You know, nothing too crazy. And you realize transparency. But yeah, I think Yui's probably my favorite out of the whole bunch. Of course, she thinks she was my favorite out of the characters when I watched the show, like, a decade ago. <laughs> also, so the non collab characters that got skins is Org von Hutten, and she got a dynamic schoolgirl skin. That's pretty nice. People are uh, definitely excited for her. Pretty good. And then have August von Percival. She has the oh. That's the transparent shirt she was holding up in the Black Friday PV in the login screen. So there you go. Uh, it's here. 
Looks like she has left her other clothes behind, and she is wearing a see-through shirt. So you go. That uh, it became real very quickly. And Lala, Nana, and Momo skins will all be up for rent. And that's what I got for the skins and the new ships. So, you know, let me know your favorite. And we move on to the general updates. So next up, we have the general game update information. So where's all the characters and the skins. So, summons, barrages. There's the penguin I was talking about, and it'll shoot torpedoes itself. And then Momo has her little plants that have health bars, so it'll summons. And here's Yami shooting some things. She has a slash and all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, Harna has just some barrage stuff. It wasn't anything too spectacular, and I missed it. And Yui had some more barrage stuff, but nothing too crazy. She is an elite, so... They don't get as much crazy stuff. So, this is our banner. You'll have Nana, Momo, Yui, or not Yui, Yami, and Harunu, Harunu, Haruna on raid up. Momo will be in the pool, but she will not be on raid up. And she will be the event map drop ship and in the event shop for purchase. And this is our event currency. It's a weird bird thing. And then Kotogawa Yui will be the point accumulation ship. So if you like her, you can get her for free. Well, free as in you're not spending money or cubes, you're spending time. Also, has been the trend recently with the collabs and other stuff, they'll be getting augment gear to further boost their power. So it's interesting they're doing this now and not in a rerun, but whatever. Oh, that's why I thought <laughs> it said you are, because you are right there. So uh, apparently this upgrades her to be UR Rarity, according to this fire extinguisher. Totally legit, 100% fact checked. Lala's got her little baton. Nana's got her penguin, she's got a flower. yami has got her hand, which is her hair, fire extinguisher, and a flag. And there'll be event gear, as I was thinking. So Lala's inventions, I'm guessing they'll give different stat, bu different stat buffs, sorry. Similar to like the Rise of Collab where you can craft gear. This one, it's quests and missions and stuff. So you need different gear. Don't know what it does yet. They didn't show it off. Here are our event skins for this time around. So we got a spaceship, different kinds of spaceships. Uh, Fists, I think this is for battleships. So I think you might be able to do some funny JoJo memes. If you're so inclined. I got some torpedoes, and the planes will drop these fish torpedoes, dolphin torpedoes. Sorry, actually, no, dolphin doesn't shoot <laughs> torpedoes, she has guns. Never mind. I'm gonna say you can have dolphins shooting dolphins, but nope, you can't do that. Uh, here is the dorm. So we have a teleporting thing, a little kind of dance stage. This they ride around on like a car. Uh, they sit in the chair, and it turns around, the screen turns on. And we have the event minigame, so you get different rewards for, you know, once per day, for seven days, as usual. So, how the minigame works is, on the right side of law here, it'll show up directions, and it'll be in quick sequence. And then it'll be, as the turns go by, there'll be more, and they'll go faster. But what you'll do is you need to respond in kind, so if it says up, right, you'll click up. And then the screen will flash the explosions. Then you click right. And it'll flash the explosions. Then you get your next set of commands. That's how the game works. So paying attention and remembering which ones are there. And I think it becomes a time thing. Like how fast you respond becomes a factor in the higher levels. Also, certain skins will be getting a background upgrade to fit the new UI. I'm assuming these are all the ones that kind of have a rounded edge where it kind of looks weird with the new UI because it's a little more spaced out. That's what I'm assuming. And I think just for JP only that these ones are getting a rerun. It's a reprint, but we have these available for us. Also, for the 
cruise mission. So this is the battle pass. We will be having the Julio Cesare meta, as well as a Vossar skin. The Vossar skin will be the paid side. Julio Cesare meta will be the free side. Yo, Cesare looks very cool there. Reminds me of Wichita, honestly. And Vossar's got a nice little just wholesome maid skin. Sorry, they're showing more merch, so I want to screenshot it. Also, there will be a new gift for Sirius. I'm not sure if this will unlock a special story for her or just another tier. But there you go. It's probably like the vacuum cleaner, if all, in all honesty. So a little special story for it. Uh, obviously going to cost gems. Also, the in-game secrets. Feels like it's been a while since I've seen one of these. But get one for Mary Celeste, Yorktown, and... Oh, she's from... Frostfall, Vorslav. She's the light cruiser from that event with the blue hair. You obviously she has blue hair. But she's no apparent light cruiser with blue hair. That's not Chopev. Hope that narrows it down. But this is like the little like eight minute ASMR thing they have in game. You can do the tickets or you can do the gems. But you have, yeah, Mary Celeste, Yorktown, who has been drenched, and Vorslav. That's all for the in-game stuff. All right, time for the merch and like outside section. So here we go. First up, the Hanazuki ASMR is now should be live, and it's twenty percent off for a certain amount of time. So there you go. Go and pick that up. There you go. I have previews on Twitter and stuff. Uh, collab with a, like a shop, so you can pick up some stuff of some like nice merch of Adam Nakamov, Golden Hind. Oh god, Zuiho, remember her name, and Mogador. There's also another one with some Gyaru girls. So there is all this merch. Also cards. And what else we got? Oh, it's out of order. So this is the cafe like theme merch. So you got eye masks, you got buttons, you got essential oil burner or thing. I thought it was a cup. Uh, some like pins that look like signboards for a shop. I think it's a wallet right here. Uh, cup holders, acrylic stands, all the typical stuff. Wall scroll. Another one with like a baking themed. It's got a Kagi, a Tago, Junyo, I'm pretty sure. Taiho and a Wari. So a bunch of stuff. And then Animate Festival. Got a bunch of merch. Oh, it's out of order. So there's some merch for that. They're showing off. It's of these characters. Like, the same stuff you saw before, but with them. Also, there'll be a doll of Taiho. I hope it's not like the little formidable doll, because that was kind of creepy looking. And then figures. Taiho uh, schoolgirl. Now... There's one reason to get this, and honestly, you could just throw the rest of the figure away and just keep the bag. But uh, there you go, that's the most important part of the figure, right there. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, Cure Sarge in the bunny girl, or uh, pole dancing one. There you go. Shimakaze, I thought this one came out already, but evidently not. It's scheduled for August 2028. Or July. I don't know my months. That's August. Whatever. Um, I'm tired. Ting on the Chinese mission ship. August von Percival. See, a lot of these I must have seen already. But I guess they're getting official release dates. New Jersey, very nice. I wonder how they do if it's like a it looks like it's a fabric, like a mesh thing you put over it after like over the figure. Uh, definitely check out Irkawa's uh, art of this. It looked very good. And they can't stop doing stuff with Marie Rose, so we may see a third rerun of the Dead or Alive collab with more characters and another Marie Rose skin because they love her. And then more collab uh, merch stuff. Various companies. Some towels. Some tags. A clear bag clear backpack and that's all for the merchandise
So this is my recap and summary of the Tulavru Darkness collaboration livestream. Try to keep it brief for you. Hopefully it wasn't too long. If you enjoy the characters, hopefully you get them. Like the skins, you can pick them up. Uh, I don't know if it'll ever rerun, so just keep that in mind. It sucks that we have Musashi right before this and a UR coming soon after this. And don't really know much about the characters yet. There'll be summons. I'm sure one of them will be pretty good. And the gear will be nice. So it'll be some new gear. Of course, that doesn't cost cubes. It's just time. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful, share it out. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.